Hello there, and welcome to the beautifully styled Arts Deco Brighton City Airport, formerly known as Shoreham. Uh, today, taking a flight with Air Rodney, the UK's newest airline, on one of their experience flights. So, Air Rodney themselves won in 2017, had a few shaky years, they got their licensing through Ordney and were ready to start flying, but they obviously know it's one part of an airline, which is the aircraft. So, it's been a few years a bit of um, flip-flopping and a few talks, but eventually everyone managed to get their hands on two Britain on Islanders. And after a few more delays, so again, Sailor Man Airline does take its time, they've managed to get themselves a license now for charter flights and touring flights. And uh, well, that's what we're here for today. So everyone in the state from 2017 and this year starting their first commercial flights. Their first flight was back in March 2022, which was a charter from, I believe it was either here or Biggin Hill to Ordney. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's quite an exciting little thing this. The UK's the newest airline, they're soon to start operating and as soon as they get their license through the IATA, essentially then have all their license granted to fly commercially on their scheduled planned routes. So it's four routes in total, covering Brighton City, Ordinary, Guernsey and I believe it's Jersey. And if all goes to plan, this airline should hopefully be operational and flying commercial within the next six or so months. So they've got the parts of it now, they've got the aircraft, they've got the pilots, they've got the crew, the teams behind it. And it's just a case of now actually getting the uh, last few kind of documents and requirements required, needed, all filled in and ready to start operating for their flight. Welcome to Air Rodney. Thank you for choosing to fly with us and we wish you a pleasant flight. We are about to board one of our iconic Britain Norman Islander aircraft, because of its unique design and layout, please do pay special attention to the safety briefing, even if you are a regular traveller. As you walk out to the aircraft, it is important that you follow the instructions of the ground crew. If you're travelling with children, supervise them closely going to and from the aircraft and whilst on board. Take care when entering and exiting the aircraft as the doors have limited head height. Once on board, please leave a safety card, which can be found in a seat pocket in front of you. Please familiarise yourself with the brace position. Take note of the emergency exits, which are clearly marked. In the unlikely event you are instructed to evacuate the aircraft, do so as quickly and safely as possible, leaving all your personal belongings behind. The door operates by moving the handle to the open position. Whilst on board the aircraft, it is essential that you stay seated in your allocated seat and keep your seatbelt fastened at all times during the flight and whilst taxiing until the aircraft is on stand and both engines have stopped. Do not open the doors unless instructed to do so by the crew. The seatbelt is fastened by placing the metal end into the buckle and pull the strap to tighten. Make sure the seatbelt fits tightly across your lap. To release the belt, pull the flap on the metal buckle like this. A life jacket can be found under your seat. If instructed, remove the jacket from the container Place it over your head and fasten the tapes around your waist. Do not inflate the life jacket until you are outside the aircraft. To inflate, pull the red toggle. If the jacket fails to inflate or needs topping up, blow into the inflation tube. Your jacket is equipped with a light. Infant life jackets will be provided by the ground crew. Phones and electronic devices should be placed into flight safe mode or switched off whilst on board. If your device becomes hot, smokes, or catches fire during the flight, please make the pilot aware. All right, so here we are in the, uh, the boarding zone for the aircraft, of which is the uh, part of the in front of us. The, uh, the BNTB Islander. It's an aircraft I've been on once before. I did a scenic flight with uh, Everdeen a while ago. So that was a flight from Oban to Isla and Collinsy. Basically, it's a public service route, of course. Passengers who live there get a priority. Any spare seats they have, they can operate as a extra service they do. Um, so I'm familiar with the aircraft, it's definitely a joy to fly and I must say very uh, excited to actually get a chance to fly it again because it's quite a, quite a, I know it's a quaint little thing this, small, nimble, very uh, dynamic and that's the thing about the Islander that, fair enough, we're not with the cheapest aircraft in the world to operate anymore, it's fairly uh, old model now, 10, 20, no, 30, 40 years old now, so it certainly has its time but it's just because of how how much ability it has in terms of getting into and out of small airports, style of ability. Fair enough, capacity of, uh, I think it's eight passengers total, plus two pilots in front, or nine passengers, one pilot. Depends on the 
um, operating in the, comes to the airline. But like I say, it's a very nimble at that craft, has a lot of serviceability to it. And yeah, very ordinary, it's a good, good match for them. Of course, also being uh, a sole north of the islands themselves, going to the Ordinary, mainly the Trilander, which there have been a few quiet murmurs of potentially them picking up one day. But I don't know, it's going to be a, it's going to be an exciting little trip that. Hopefully the end result should be a pretty good fight overall. Very excited, definitely very excited. So at the moment I'm going to wait for the guy to come around, board the aircraft and have us, well, flans I guess. If you drop your phone down your seat, please leave it until arriving at your destination and advise a member of the crew to assist in its recovery. Space is very limited on board the aircraft and only small items such as handbags will be allowed in the cabin. Grand staff will be on hand to place other baggage in the hold. Smoking and the use of electronic cigarettes is not permitted whilst on board or walking to and from the aircraft. Smoking is only permitted in designated areas of the airport terminal. Please note there are no washrooms on board, so please use the facilities in the terminal building before boarding the aircraft. Thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions or require further assistance, please do not hesitate to speak to a member of staff. British aircraft designed and originally manufactured by Britain Norman on the Isle of Wight. Islanders would all be manufactured in Romania, shipped to Avon's Ferry in Belgium for final assembly, and then flown to the UK for certification. What makes the Islander a great choice for smaller operators is the need for only one member of crew. With two Lycoming 0540 six cylinder air cooled piston engines producing 260 horsepower each, means the Islander can get itself in and out of some very remote areas. Its large wings also mean that the Islander's stall speed is only around 40 knots or 46 miles per hour. This means its takeoff roll is extremely short, only requiring 370 meters fully laden for departure and 300 meters for arriving. fixed strength and landing gear and raised piston engines, it also means that the Islander can operate into unmanned and unpaved airfields such as the Fair Isle and Seattle Scaries in the Shetland Islands, a trip report hopefully we'll see very soon. From my research, the largest Islander operator at the moment is Direct Flight, trading as Air Task Group. They operate Islanders, the Hebridean Air Services and the Shetland Island Inter Air Services. I have flown in past with Hebridean and aim to fly the Shetland Inter Island Air Service an upcoming video from this channel. the trip that was um what can, what can i say as ever the islander is just a store i absolutely adore this thing small nimble comfortable for its size and uh yeah just overall a really really good flight experience um again shoreham as well it's a very fancy uh, sorry brighton city they rebranded uh brighton city is very uh fancy airport it's art deco style and it's a nice airport to fly now actually as well 
I mean, if I ever get back into my pilot license training, then it's never, I'll definitely try to return to more in the future. But I've got to say, the experience it was, 40 quid, you can't uh, fault it really. And <laughs> to be fair, if they sucked just doing touring flights at Brighton, then uh, they'd probably be in there by the end of the week. Um, so the flight itself, so we flew about five, 10 minutes out across the uh, coast of Brighton. I just got towards Seaford, did a loop, went back down the uh, kind of the beachfront of uh, Brighton again, crossed twice the uh, pier, and uh, yeah, everybody had coffee to land on the zero side. Um, so what can I say? I really, really, really enjoyed this flight. Um, everyone is still got a bit of work to do in terms of actually getting their aircraft, well, the aircraft are getting functional, they're working, it's just kind of getting their licensing, the uh, approval from the IETA. Once they've got all of that, then uh, yeah, flying commercially to you very soon. So, other than that, I've got my trip back to London. That's another two hours by train. Not too bad, I guess. As for the uh, for the airline, they're getting themselves into shape. I'm not sure kind of how they're going to go for their actual commercial flying, but I believe their chosen course line will be Puffin once they've uh, got that operated. Oh, someone's uh, <laughs> having a bit of fun up there. So I need to get back into the line lesson soon because this is uh, <laughs> this is what I want. Um, yeah, so I believe call sign um, Puffin is what we can go for. We've got a fleet of uh, two islands at the moment, and that could potentially expand to a Trilander as well once they've got their um, airline more consolidated. And uh, yeah, who knows what the future will bring for this airline? So, hey Rodney, welcome to the UK. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do you like it? Do subscribe for us already. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you soon for some more uh, flying action. It's all buzzing from that. I love prop aircraft, I really do. Yes, yes, I fly jetliner a lot because that's how you get commercial, international. But whenever these opportunities come up to fly, uh, small, low and slow, then yes, I always, always, always go for it. All right, take care of yourselves. I'll uh, see you soon, bye bye. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic.